Hey everyone, welcome back to the place we're testing every single mask that we can get our hands on. Today we're looking at the well before brand of masks, especially their kids' mask. Let's open this up and put it in the clamper. Love the packaging. In fact, I've never really seen packaging quite like this because it feels substantial but also feels like it might be a little more, be a more affordable to make. It's really important. Every single one of the well before masks are individually packaged, which is just insane to me how they do that. You could not get that for, I think they're selling for $1.49. There's no way you could get that in the United States for that price. Just would be impossible. And it's why one of the things that, you know, I, just as I'm doing the well before tests, um, one of the things I'm thinking is people always ask me what masks on Amazon I'd choose, what KN94s, Nick KN95s on Amazon. If I was gonna choose a Chinese mask, I'm, I might choose the well before us. And the reason why is price. Problem I have with it, of course, it, you know, supply chain issues. As long as they can get them, they'll be able to sell them to you. And they've actually been having trouble keeping them in stock. This one is the, what they call, I find this to be very weird, the 3D style or KF94 style. KF94 is a Korean style of mask. So they, yeah, they're claiming to be in the GB2626-2019, which is the CAN95 standard. And it is, I can tell you just by looking at it, not a part of the standard. So there is no markings whatsoever on this mask. And to be a KF90, or sorry, to be a KN95 mask, you could actually have a style like this and be KN95. But you need three things. You need to say KN95 on the mask. You need to say the standard. And you need to have the manufacturer name. If this mask was just sitting by itself, you wouldn't know who made it. And that's a problem. Man, this thing is really small. So this is their petite. So this is their kids small. So it's like they're small, double small. So this is for like a really small kid, ages five to eight. That's one feature I love on their website is that you can choose the different so age ranges. I've never seen that before. Also, it's nice that it looks absolutely ridiculous on my face. This is like the smallest mask I've ever worn. <laughs> it looks really dumb. Um, there you go. This is my new profile picture. Uh, wife, if you're listening, this is going to be my Tinder profile if you break up with me. So this is, you know, this is, you know look out. Okay, that's interesting. All their masks have a much different smell. They, they smell like that Chinese polypropylene, but this one is similar. It's, I, there must be something in the, in the production process of this, because this style of mask typically has like a, almost like melting burning smell, and I'm smelling that here. I'm gonna call this smell the KN95 that smells like a KF94. And you're only gonna get that if you've watched like way too many of my reviews. <laughs> All right, um, let's test the ear loops. Oh! Oh, that's insane. I was really pulling. This is their best ear loop mask for sure. And the nose wire is absolutely phenomenal. But does that matter if it doesn't protect you? Well, I actually glanced and I saw this was the highest score of any of their masks, 99.433. But I also glanced. I missed breathability. Okay. I also glanced and saw that the breathability was really bad. 247 pascals, 247.62. Pascals. That is their worst mask by double? I mean, their last, no, not quite double. Their last one was, their last kid's mask was like 180 Pascals. All right. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this. I appreciate your time and attention, and I will catch you on the next test, which is tomorrow at 10 a.m. I will see you there.